What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Squeeze 7 First Impressions. Let's jump right into our game. Today we play Shadowgate. I believe this is an old adventure game, I want to say. I want to say it's an adventure game. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Alright, sorry about that, folks. Here we go. Shadowgate. Push start. File one new. And here we are at the classic adventure game screen. So the last thing we remember standing about the before is standing before the wizard Lackmere as he waved his hands. Now you find yourself staring at an entryway which lies at the edge of a forest. This is the gate to a forest? Weird. The druid's words ring in your ears. Within the castle Shadowgate lies your quest. Dreaded warlock lord will use his black magic to raise the behemoths from the dark's depths. The combination of his evil arts with the great titan's power will surely destroy us all. I just figured out I can make this go faster. You are the last of the line of kings, the seed of prophecy that was foretold eons ago. Only you can stop the evil one from darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Okay. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your god's name that you will destroy the warlock lord. Okay. So. We have look, open, use, leave, take, close, hit, speak. So I'm going to say we're going to open the door. The door is open. It's the door leading into the castle shadow gate. So... Um... Can I take anything from the grass here? You can't take the grass? You can't take the grass. You can't take the skull. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go in then. That sounds reasonable, right? Let's let's adventure onwards. I don't know how to. Oh, spells good, serves. Oh. There we go, okay. You can't take it. No, no. I don't want to take anything. I just want to move. Move to there. Okay. Yes, okay, so those are our doors down in that little move panel. The directions we can go, if you will. That pitiful wizard, Lackmere, was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it, for the only thing here is your for you is a horrible death. I can't even fucking read right now. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. You have to open the door before you can go through it. That's cool. We'll do that then, man. The door is locked. Well, it looks like a door that would be locked. What about this little side door? The door is also locked. So we'll take a look. This wooden door is reinforced with heavy sheets of steel. Even though the door is only an inch thick, it is very sturdy. Um, so I'm assuming we can't hit our way through either of these. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. We can't talk the doors down. We don't want to close them, that would make it worse. We can't take them with us. We can't open them, so we gotta look. We gotta look around, I guess. We only have two rooms so far. It's a torch, an oil-soaked rag is wrapped around it. Can I have it? The torch is in hand. Damn straight, all right, one torch. I want the other one now. I'm greedy for torches. The torch is in hand. Okay, we'll have torches as long as we need them, probably. Um... I can't take any... Can I take the... What is it? What's up with the carpet? Maybe something under there? It's a beautifully woven rug. What if I use... Torches... Oh! I wanted to use it on the rug. Well, okay. I have no fucking idea how to proceed and we're in the second room. You seem to be wasting your time trying to use a doorway. That's right, we'll try to move into a doorway. You have to open it, you have to open it. Neither of them want to yield to us because they need keys. We have no keys and we've been in one room. Okay, let's go back out here and see if there's another way to go. You can hear wolves howling in the forest behind you. 
It makes much more sense. I thought this door was leading into the forest, and I didn't really understand that. So, we have no other rooms, which means the key's gotta be out here somewhere. So let's take a look around at the grass. You seem to be wasting your time. You seem to be wasting your time. It's a stone wall. It's the skull of some creature. Its meaning seems quite clear. Death lurks inside. What? Do I have to click on every brick? Is there even like a like a search or something? Or is look is the best I can do? I can try to use it. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay. Punch the skull. Punch the grass. Punch the rock. Oh! Ouch! That smarts. Okay, don't punch the fucking wall for no reason. That's good. <laughs> that was nice, cool little effect. I enjoyed that. Alright. Like, that's the only thing that's, like, interesting at all. And it doesn't really give us anything. So let's go back inside. And take one more look at this room inside here. You stand in a long corridor. Huge stone archways line the entire hall. So let's take a look at all the little archways, I suppose. You seem to be wasting your time. I do. Wow. I can't be defeated by the a hallway. The first hallway. It's not even a foe. I feel like I've done pretty much everything I can do. I don't have any spells. I got a torch, but it's not going to do me any good. Hold on, let's see if I can... Let's use this torch. What do you want to use this on? Hey! Okay. The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. Damn straight it does! Okay, let's take a look, I suppose. Well, fuck your rug, anyways. What good does that do me to burn someone's rug? With no results? That's insane! What? Why did the music just change? It sounds really panicky, like I'm about to lose that Marble Madness. It's actually really fucking cool. At least we get this groovy soundtrack while I fucking stumble around and do nothing. <sighs> Let's take another look at our skull friend. Your torch goes out with the fizzle. With outstretched arms, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash! You fall face first to the floor. It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. It is really sad. What kind of way to die is that? Okay. This is fucking... <laughs> this game's ridiculous. It is a, I guess it's a classic adventure game. I'm supposed to, Am I supposed to just look at every one of these little rocks? Maybe I should be using them. Oh my god, use the fucking torch then. See if I care. This is quite riveting, folks, right? But that's kind of what adventure games are. You just kind of go around and click on everything. <laughs> and if you don't click on it, and if you click on it, nothing happens, you switch your click to a different thing, like look and touch or whatever, and then you click again. And then eventually it fucking works. Or it never works. 
The door is closed. Now we open it back up. Actually, hold on. Weird, hold on. One second, folks. First, let's look at the skull. I think, look, watch the skull when I open the door, right? Watch where the skull is. No, wait, hold on, when I close it then. That was nothing, folks. Right where the fo skull is. See it change into something? What's that all about? Right? Oh, there it goes again. I hope you can see that on YouTube. It's for like one frame, it changes into something else. I've already done everything I can do except speak to it, which actually might be a good idea. What do you expected hasn't happened. <laughs> How do you know that? I'm still here at the first fucking door. The door is locked. The door is locked. You can't drop what you didn't take. Okay, that's what that means. I'll talk to the door. Maybe they'll let me in. What you expected hasn't happened. What a weird way to word that. <laughs> Punch it once more. Punch the wall. God damn it. I literally can't get through the fucking first hallway of this game. It's it. I've clicked on everything. Do I have to click on all these little stones? I do seem to be wasting my time. Thank you for noticing. So, one thing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have trouble reviewing this game because I can't fucking, um, play on any of it. <laughs> but, um, one thing I'll say is this point and click shit, not great on a controller. It's very frustrating to get where you want it to go. It's kind of crappy, moving around. It's just really slow in comparison to what you would if you had any sort of mouse. And you don't. So, I guess this is it. I can't get past the first fucking door. I don't know what to rate this. I'm actually kind of, I kind of want to buy it, because I'm kind of, I... When I can't beat the first level of a game, I get pretty pissed off. When I can't beat the first room like this, it's like a direct challenge to me. <laughs> like, I... I wish I had more time to just fuck around and do nothing, but I can't just sit on camera and do nothing, so apparently this one's a failure. Let's check how much it's worth. Shadowgate for NES. I can buy it now for seven bucks. It's really cheap. It's an adventure point and click game. It's one of the few that are this on an NES. There's not very many. I think there's like probably like three total or something. So, if you like that type of game, it's pretty much an auto-buy at seven bucks. If you don't, I don't know. I don't know why you would buy it in the first place. It's very... It's a very specific crowd. If you, you either like it or you don't, I, f I feel, anyways, most people. God damn, that pisses me off. So, I'm sorry that I can't show you more of this game, but apparently it's a testament to how good it is. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Squiggy 7 First Impressions, and I hope to catch you all next time. Take it easy, my friends. You seem to waste.